Welcome to the hub of analytics education, preparing students for the future millions of records at a time. The hub of analytics education is located in Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Bill Goldman. I'm one of the co-founders of the hub of analytics education. For today's video, we're going to be utilizing Tableau. Tableau is a business intelligence tool that specializes in visualization. Tableau is used across industries, including, but not limited to, financial services, consumer products, technology, and entertainment. Once you have your desktop copy of Tableau and the sales file from the Hub of Analytics Education, you're set to begin. The objectives for today's video are one, to import data into Tableau, and two, create a worksheet to visualize your data. Welcome everyone to today's video. What we're going to do today is we're going to use Bibitor LLC as our company and we're going to use Tableau as, a, as our business intelligence tool. And I'm going to show you on this video how to upload data into Tableau and then we're going to make visualizations and learn something about our store. So starting out, you can see that when you open up Tableau, that's going to give you a choice for how to connect to files. So for me, I have it in a CSV file. So I'm going to click on text file, which is the same. I'm going to upload the sales file. Now, this is going to take a little while as we're going to click update now. And you're going to see that it's going to load the data set into Tableau. Now, this could take a few minutes depending on the, your computer uh, speed and processing. So what I'm going to do now is pause the video while this uploads. Now that my files have uploaded, there are over 12 million records in this file. So other programs can actually handle this large of data set. So that's why we're using Tableau in addition to its visualizations capabilities. So to start out with visualizations, we're going to click on sheet one. And now what we're going to do is we want to tell it what variables do we want to include in its rows and columns. So what we're looking for initially is we're going to look at sales dollars. So I'm going to simply drag that over to the rows. And I'm going to see that total sales for this company was four, $441,071,514. So that's great, and that's great information. But what I want to do now is I actually want to look at a store basis. So what I want to do is I want to use this store variable. But notice how it's in the measures area. What I want to do is actually make that a dimension. So Tableau will actually convert this for us very easily if we simply drag and drop into the dimensions feature. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that store number, drag into the columns, and next thing you know, I have all my sales by store very easily. And I can go ahead and sort this information, and I can quickly see if by scrolling over what stores are the largest, what stores are the smallest, and work my way, or I can even scroll using a scroll bar. Now, if you want to do some more analytics very easily, we can click on the analytics tab over here and we can drop some things in there. So for example, if I want to know the average, simply drag and drop that in there. And it'll tell me the average store has $5,583,184. I could drop my median line in there if I want. And I can see that the median is approximately 3.9 million. And the other thing I can do, which is kind of neat about Tableau, is I can quickly get a quick summary. So if I click up to worksheet and I go to show summary tab, all of a sudden, I'm going to have my, the total sales, the average, the minimum, the maximum, and the median. Thanks for watching the Hub of Analytics Education video series. The Hub of Analytics Education provides open educational resources to educators around the globe, supporting both higher education and secondary education. For more information, please visit our website at hubae.org.